Hey guys, so what we're going to learn about today is macros in Microsoft Word. Now, first of all, let me explain what is a macro. A macro is simply pre-recorded keystrokes that are then played back whenever you need them. So, for example, if you found yourself having to do a certain amount of actions in a document or various documents continuously, instead of having to keep redoing those actions over and over and over again, you do it once while recording those actions, and then when you need to recreate that, you just play that macro back, and it then goes through all the keystrokes. I'm going to give you an example. Here we have a macro example document. Now I'm going to show you what I mean. The first one is macro number one. And what I did was I used the keyboard shortcut control and the number one to execute this. I have a sentence that I typed out and I thought, you know what, if I had to keep typing this out every time, wouldn't it be nice if the computer could just do it for me when I just hit control one? So that's what I did. So watch what happens when I hit control one on the keyboard. You go every time I hit control one on the keyboard it puts the words this document created by M Haynes automatically all right so that's actually pretty handy let's have a look at what I did with macro number two macro number two could be used in this situation if there is a common layout of tables that you use quite regularly you could just record yourself creating the tables and save it as a macro you can then play that back at any time. So control and the number two creates this. An instant table of three by two with the measurements that I need. Let's have a look at macro number three. This is quite a handy one. If you find yourself creating a lot of letters and documents and you have to keep putting your signature in all the time, well, what you can do is to sign the document is just create a macro that puts your signature in for you. So, control 3 is the one I used. There it is. So every time I press control 3, it puts a new macro, it puts a new uh, picture in. There's the second one there. Here's one that I thought would be interesting is using a macro to format text in a particular way. So, for example, if I wanted this to be sort of indented from the left and right at a particular dimension or measurement, I just recorded a macro to do that. And whenever I need text to be put into that dimension or those measurements, I just use Control and 4. Control 4. And there we go. The indents are all automatically set for me because of the macro.